no longer on the fast lane. Car sales have fallen in India over the past year. The first drop for more than a decade. But that hasn't put off companies from investing here. Many global car makers are leveraging India as a low-cost producer of small cars for the rest of the world. But with the recent decline of the rupee against the dollar, it's had a positive impact on the auto industry, both for investments and exports, making India now one of the cheapest destinations to source from. Take South Korean car maker Hyundai, which has invested over $2 billion here. The company is responsible for one out of every two cars exported from India. Hyundai says the flexibility to switch between domestic and export production has helped insulate it from the slowdown. See, when we started the factory about 15 years ago, it was only 100,000 cars. Uh, today, we are, we are at 6 lakh 50,000 and 650,000 is the capacity. Hopefully, we can ramp up to 700,000 over a period. The export will definitely grow. Of course, the predominant goes to European market and the African market and the South American market. Some companies are more cautious about focusing too much on exports. Like Honda Cars, the company says its bigger focus is the domestic market. With new small car launches, Honda says it's running at full capacity with a growth of 45% in the last three months. But they too have begun exporting the small car Brio to South Africa. The costs of manufacturing are relatively lower than many other countries or uh, you know it may not be worthwhile setting up a plant in many of those countries so that definitely helps however if you look at exchange rate alone uh, it's it's you know uncertain and as a result the benefit could be transient in nature and you could end up losing in the long run uh, similarly uh, when you start exporting you don't look at your own currency alone you have to look at the currency of the importing country as well Making switches and panel controls for cars, factories here make components for most international car makers. This large vendor base, along with abundant cheap labor and skilled engineers, make India an ideal hub for small car production. But it's also the long-term potential of the local market that's attracting global capital, say experts. We expect India to see a very strong vehicle market uh, reaching over 6 million vehicle sales here by 2020. Uh, and so they want to be in there. I think many of these manufacturers felt they kind of missed China. Uh, they were a little late to the game. I think they don't want to make that mistake again. So they're really trying to invest heavily and have a strong footprint here in, in India as it gets ready for its uh, takeoff potential. In the race for sales, car makers find that exporting from India can help them manage costs and achieve scale. They can offset a downturn in one market and adjust production to meet greater demand in another. So despite shrinking sales, no one's taking their foot off the pedal just yet.